When I was working at the Zurich Opera, I was able to experience almost, well, I think it was probably seven or eight of Mozart's operas from the early to the latest. And I remember just having this, this aha moment where I realized that his symphonic music, his piano concertos, everything is just so related to, the, to his sense of drama. And so this program is about the drama of, of the classical repertory. And so I started with one of the most dramatic, which is the, the Don Giovanni Overture. But then I wanted to pick two symphonies of the, these great masters, Haydn and Mozart, that really, um, of course, you could just play them and they could be very pretty and very nice and whatever. But when you really think about, if you could imagine those as mini operas, what, what would that say? What would, the, what would the pieces say? And so that's what I'll be trying to bring out of this, this performance. Emotional conflict and all that stuff that we don't usually associate with music of the classical and Baroque era. We just think of it as this kind of veneer, beautiful, um, just la-la floating music. But really, this was the music of their day. This was their entertainment. So they wanted all of those emotions brought into those pieces. This symphony is part of his storm and stress period, storm and drong, and um, it's just really, uh, it's a surprising work in terms of its complexity and length. You just don't expect it from the, the playful Haydn that you normally would, would hear. This, this music really, um, takes us on a, just a totally different path. And so uh, also a bit unusual about it is it's in five movements. So he clearly had some things he wanted to get off his chest. Symphony number 40 is the great G minor symphony of Mozart. Um, this piece is quite possibly one of the most famous after say the opening of Beethoven's fifth. I mean, when you hear da 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 I mean, you know, you know what's coming. It's one of these fascinating um, works that Mozart, like Haydn with the Distrato, just kind of needed to get off his chest. He wrote 39, 40, and 41 without a commission. I like the symphony because it's, um, it engages the whole orchestra in the, in the um, dialogue, the, the, the emotional tension that happens. The basses and cellos are really active in this piece and the, the violins will kick off with something and then the basses and cellos will gr really grab it in a way that a lot of the classical masters would just let them be accompanimental. I think virtually all the music on this concert, people will hear it and think, oh yeah, I, I recognize that or I know that. There's, there's some recognition and I hope that the, this kind of dramatic journey gives people a different perspective on the pieces. Mm -hmm.